Today, I'm going to be facing my biggest fears, and if at any point I get scared and have to close my eyes, this video is over. What is going on, TFG Squad? My name is Brandon, and welcome to Roblox Face Your Fears. This is basically a game where they picked the most common fears among humans, and I have to survive all of them. Turn around... Oh, I got a bad feeling about this. Oh, it's just a bunch of people. So there are a bunch of fears. If you want me to come back, let me know in the comments. But I'm just going to pick the ones that I find the most scary. So fear number one is megalohydrothasiophobia. Wow, I actually think I did a pretty good job with that. It's the fear of big things in the ocean. Yeah, that one doesn't really scare me that much. I'm not that afraid of the ocean. By the way, all of these are real fears. The next one, arachnophobia, fear of spiders. Okay, I definitely have this fear. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm definitely afraid of spiders. Also, my wife, Sam, is, like, actually afraid of spiders. She is, like, deathly afraid of spiders. Like, she legitimately has arachnophobia. Keep in mind... If I ever get too scared enough to close my eyes, this video ends immediately. Oh, man. I mean, knowing that this is a Roblox game, I'm able to do this. But if I actually had to walk through a room like this, dude, I, I think I would literally die. I think I would literally die. So basically, each level, I have to make it all the way through. And if I successfully make it through the level, I have faced my fear. So I have officially conquered the arachnophobia fear. Fear of the upside down? Hey, that sounds kind of cool. All right, we might we might come back to that later. What is this one? Archeo Archophobia? Fear of heights. Wait, is that what it's called? Archophobia? I did not know that. My buddy Steve, you guys probably know Steve from my vlogs. He's actually really afraid of heights, but I'm kind of afraid of heights. Oh. I mean, this takes it to the next level, man. Like, you don't even need to be afraid of heights to be afraid of this. I mean, you're that. this is just basically being afraid to die. I mean, literally, you're walking on, like, a one-foot board, like, at ten stories above the sky. I've got this robot lady in front of me with birds coming out of her hair. What if I fall? I kind of want to say, hey, don't jump over me. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm going to jump. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. I'm jumping, I'm jumping, I'm twirling. I'm doing 360s. Steve would have a heart attack right now. Did I not make it? I made it. I have faced my fear of heights. I thought you guys told me I get badges. Moving on to the next fear, we've got, what is this one? Chronophobia, the fear of passing time. Current stage, 1950s to 1980s. Well, this one, I'm just curious. Oh, so I guess they spawned me right in the 1950s. And I guess time is, time is just passing. Okay, uh, one thing. Yes, in the 1950s, television might have been black and white. I don't think they were actually living in black and white. Like, like that was just the TVs. That was just the movies were black and white. I think people could actually see in color in the 1950s. Although, you know what? I wasn't alive in the 1950s. So maybe they invented color vision in like 1960 something. All right. So what is going on here? Was that it? I mean, that was easy. Oh, now it's saying 1960s. So did I just, uh, am I teleporting a decade into the future now? Okay. Uh, everything's still black and white. Why is... Why is my house different? Did the family sell their house between 1950 and 1960 and nobody bought it? I mean, well, now I'm just kind of... Uh, this is more claustrophobia. I, I actually have claustrophobia. I think that's going to be one of the fears in this game. I'm just literally locked in this box. Is the game broken or is this supposed to be like this? Okay, I sat there for like five minutes and nothing happened. So, you know what? You know what did happen? Five minutes passed by. So, anybody with chronophobia would have been terrified. All right, moving on. On. I shouldn't make fun of these. These probably are actual real fears. Guys, let me know in the comments. Do you have any of these fears in real life? This one's called megalophobia, fear of big things. Warning, very disturbing. Did any of the other ones have that? Oh man, none of the other ones had a warning, very disturbing on it. Well, now I'm kind of afraid. I guess if you're actually afraid of big things, this would be disturbing. What is this? Oh my gosh, that girl's just got a ghost for a head. That's that's kind of scary. So these are just like big things? I mean, this just kind of looks like a post-apocalyptic world. Oh my gosh, what is that? Is that just like a really big mountain? Okay, I don't really understand how this is the fear of big things. Just This just kind of feels like the fear of 
everybody else in the world being dead. This is like the fear of the apocalypse. I'm gonna call this the apocalypsophobia. I'm moving on to the next one. I think if I get to this door, I did it. Yes, I did it. Like literally one of my biggest fears is going in an elevator and it getting stuck, which happened to me once in college. I was hyperventilating. It was terrifying. Claustrophobia. Aw. Literally right as I said it. Literally right as I said it. So if you didn't know, claustrophobia is the fear of small places or small spaces. So basically, I have a feeling I'm going to be crammed in a very small box. I'm not going to be able to leave for a very long time. And you're probably... Oh. Oh. Oh, I am not a fan of this. Although, honestly, this room's not that small. I'm usually more afraid of being locked in a box. Some dude said he feels like he's going to pass out. Okay, this dude did pass out. The dude with the ghost on his head did pass out there for a second. Okay, oh, the door went away. Yo, the door just went away, man. Okay, this dude is terrified. He said he's going to pass out. Now he's saying he's scared. I don't know if he's afraid of the small spaces or, the, or if he's afraid of watermelons. Maybe he's got watermelonophobia. Oh. Oh. Now I'm understanding it. Now I'm understanding it. The walls kind of get closer and closer until you're like trapped in a little tiny box. All right, I'm going to wait for that to happen one more time. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, that's why the door went away because the walls covered it up. Oh, that that's also why the kid said he was scared. Because the walls were closing up. Oh, yeah, this is definitely making me uneasy. Yeah, my palms are sweaty. I have not opened my... I didn't close my eyes yet. And blinking doesn't count for all of you smart guys in the in the comment section. Blinking does not count. Oh my gosh, if this was real life, I would be losing my marbles right now. Not a fan of that. I'm getting out of here. I'm getting out of here, getting out of here, getting out of here. Did, why can't... Why would the door open? Let me out of here. I want to go to the next fear. Oh, man. Man, man, man. Is the, is the, oh, that was the fear of jump scares. I just want to see what some of the other fears are. This room is so big. So this one is Ichimophobia. I, I'm probably pronouncing all of these wrongs. Fear of pointed or sharp objects. I mean, that's kind of scary, right? I, I'm not really that. Agoraphobia. Fear of situations that can cause anxiety. That sounds terrible. I don't know if I've ever heard it. Oh, this one's got two. This one's got two warning signs on it. This one is catastrophe something. It's the fear of mirrors get and getting lost. Oh, oh, I definitely have that one. I definitely have the fear of getting lost. Uh, anirophobia, fear of dreams. Group only. I don't think I'm really afraid of dreams. Oh, this one's just like unfinished. Is it the fear of unfinished things or is the level just unfinished? I'm not exactly sure. Less scary. Oh, okay. The fear of night or ghosts. Is there a scarier version of night and ghosts? Oh, I, I, I don't like the sound of that. Fear of clowns. I'm doing it. Doing the fear of clowns. Really not a fan of these, by the way. Why is that girl so tall? I'm, I'm afraid of tall people because I'm short. I have a fear of tall people. It's called tallophobia. That is a clown. That is a clown. That is a dead person. That clown probably caused that dead person. Dead person, clown. Clown, dead person. Why is he twitching his neck like that? Why is he twitching his neck like that? Is this girl part of the act? Or is she a Roblox character? I'm not exactly sure. I won't bother you if you don't bother me. I won't bother you if you don't bother me. I did it. I conquered my fear of clouds. You know what? After this video's over, I'm just going to be afraid of nothing. That's actually impossible. Everybody's afraid of something. Even if you claim that you're not, you're lying. You're probably afraid of admitting that you're afraid of things. All right, here we go. Uh, that's the fear of clowns. I just did that. Fear of small holes. We already saw that. Fear of roller coasters. Eh, I'm not really afraid of roller coasters. Fear of fires. Oh, pyrophobia. Oh, I guess that's the opposite of a pyromaniac. We've got scoptophobia, the fear of being stared at. I gotta see this one. I gotta see this one. What, are there just gonna be a bunch of people staring at me? This is, this is actually gonna be terrifying. Oh, there is, oh. Yo, this might be the scariest one yet. Yo, this is absolutely the scariest one yet. There is just a dude looking in my window and, and he won't stop. He literally will not- Oh my gosh. Also, why is- First off, why is Baldy headless? Why am I headless? Why am I- Why am I in a room with literally nothing in it other than this disgusting, like, rusted out bed? And why is there a dude staring at me? Okay, this one definitely has me. This one has me. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here before I close my eyes and lose. I gotta get out of here! I did it. Oh, I didn't do it! 
I didn't do it. I thought I did it, but I didn't do it. How do I get out of here? I gotta get out of here. Come on, come on, come on. I, might, I literally might close my eyes. What is that dude? I don't want to get too close to him, but I kind of want to get a better look. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna go through this door. This door is locked. This door is locked. Don't tell me I actually have to walk right up to him. Do I actually have to walk right up to him? Can I go back the way I came? Once again, why does Baldy not have a head? Okay, I'm literally gonna close my eyes right now because that dude's freaking me out. That dude is literally freaking me out in addition to the fact that Baldy is headless. Okay, I want this to end right now. I literally don't think I can do this. I am trapped in a room. Now I'm actually getting claustrophobia and whatever the heck the name of the fear was for being stared at. Yeah, I'm totally done with this. No, I didn't close my eyes, but yes, I kind of quit because I was too afraid. Guys, check out my other YouTube channel. It's called TFG Vlogs, and I will see all of you in the next video.